Today our group is going to introduce our e-waste recycling project view. We call it the rebirth of e-waste. Have you ever counted how many electronic devices you had at home and how often you replaced them? According to the statistics, the average Australian household is generating 73 kilograms of e-waste per year and a large portion of them is sent to the landfills. We have also realized that the amount of unrecoverable remaining earth resources is continuously decreasing while the demand remains high. Therefore, it came across to us that why don't we reuse the processed materials from the wasted devices so that the manufacturing industry and the ecological environment can both be satisfied. To achieve this objective, we will work with UNSW Small Center to recycle good quality products using the cutting edge technology and by collaborating with local convenience stores and setting up drop-off points. Our project also offers an opportunity for individuals to deal with the e-waste in an easy and environmentally friendly way. At early stages, our project aims to provide precious metals extracted from e-wastes to the companies in the metallic and alloy industries. Later on, we will expand our business by providing repairing services and fabricating shoes with extracted polymers to consolidate our status in the market. Now we'll have Ying here to explain further in detail. There are currently a few solutions to e-waste that are popular around households. The first solution come across people's mind to sell them as second hand or just simply donate them. This enhances the value of the material embodied in the devices through longer uses. Also, electronic com companies such as Apple provide trading service that recycles their old products that are still in function. Furthermore, Australian government has developed an e-waste recycling scheme that signs up service provider to am administer for free collection and recycling service for household and business. However, all the solutions above are inconvenient. Funding the, so funding the sources of these services is not very easy. They require prior research plans and organizations before giving them away. More importantly, the first two solutions have big constraints on the condition of devices. This, this is contradictory to the fact that people update their electronics way before actual obsolescence. And what they tend to do about their old devices is chucking them away in drawers, cupboards, and garages, and eventually forget about them. Generally speaking, there is a gap between various cycling, various cycling solutions and people's behavior towards their old devices. This is why we propose our unique solution. By setting up drop-off points around neighborhood and also col collaborating with local supermarkets, we create great convenience for everyone to give off any unwanted devices at any time at any available local spot. There is no planning ahead needed. By producing our original, originally designed fashion products, we show customers what we do about these ways and, what, and let them see the value of these ways. Our reputa reputation of an e-waste recycling company with unique creativity can gradually build up among the communities. However, our biggest concern about the project is that our financial support for the extraction process in the first stage of development, we, man we mainly rely on the profit gain from fixing. The profit is volatile and not promising for long-term supply. Another issue needs our special attention is the potential environment issue of local community. We have to make sure our collection of the waste is done regularly to avoid pile of the waste and chemical leakage. In our project, the customers, local economy, um, environment, and our investors are the main beneficiaries. There are two main sources of electronic waste for the recycling, which are our individual customers and enterprises. From the customer's perspective, our service minimizes their time and energy to dispose their electronic waste. Also, the repairing service improved the um, efficiency of electronic devices usage by elongating their lifetime. Hence, the customers benefit um, financially. From the perspective of economy, the local economy benefits from our project. In the whole collection and production process, 
local employments are created as we hire um, workers and engineers. This also creates tax for the local governments. From the perspective of environment, our project is beneficial also. Um, traditionally, electronic waste are buried into the ground without any treatments or recycled with strong acid, which is inefficient and produce a lot of waste um, and pollution. Um, also, the material obtained in electronic waste are valuable while the amount of resources on the earth is limited. With the advanced technology and support from UNSW Smart Center, electronic waste are recycled efficiently with low pollution. Um, from the perspective of our investors, our fast-growing project is also a good choice for investment. Um, electronic waste recycling is a development and developing industry. Most of our competitors are new founded and lack of technology uh, support. Our project proposed to establish a company providing service from fixing, recycling, and selling the fashion products that make art, that make from recycled materials. Self-help store and local community are set up for individual customers to recycle their devices conveniently. We plan to cooperate with the Smart Center located at UNSW to acquire the latest technology and equipments on recycling. Besides from selling the extracted valuables, we also outsource the unwanted the polymer, uh, the, the recycled polymer to manufacture the fashion products. For, for instance, shoes. Furthermore, social media is the path for us to market our business. Our project considers five major resources, which include human, physical, capital, material, and entrepreneurship. <clears throat> the cooperation with the Smart Center located at UNSW will allow us to acquire the latest technology and also achieve the professional consultants on the e-waste recycling that might enhance our efficiency on recycling. In general, the electronic devices for, from, the, from individual users or institutions represent the material aspect in our objectives. For the financial resources, as mentioned before, we profit from selling the extracted materials from the e-waste as well as the fashion products that make from the cyclopolymer. The initial capital is provided by the founders. Also, bank loaning is an option to enhance the current flow at the early stage. The, the last but not least, we also need the entrepreneurship resources. It is critical for the growth of business as it represents it represents the support system which maintains the business and employee motivated. For instance, a team provides the moral guidance or, or actions on developing a good brand image would be the entrepreneurship resources. For our course, we will consider four parts. Source, production, outsourcing as well as promotion. On the source aspect, it costs us $104,000 in a year including the fee on collection box, setup, self-help stores, as well as collection from the drop, drop off point and the website creation and management fee. When we go to the production cost, we spend most money on the human and physical resources, which would be in an amount of $880,000. At the growth stage, when we outsource the material for manufacturing the fashion products, it costs us $21,000, for instance, legal fee, shipping, chaining, and transactions. The last but not least, when we promote our business on, on the Instagram or Facebook, we assume we can achieve 2,000 clicks while the cost per click is 60 cents. That will contribute $1,200 in total. I would now like to introduce you our three revenue streams. The first one is fixing and repair services. At early stages, we would have limited number of technicians and um, limited number of appointments per day. Nevertheless, this stream alone in the 10 month of period um, from completion of hiring to the end of the startup project would be able to generate us um, $117,000. When the business further develops, we would have a larger technician group with more appointments per day, estimated to generate more than $1.1 million per year. 
The second stream of revenue is the sales of recycled materials. Um, for now, we would focus only on the, um, the metals. The table on the top here is from a 2016 research paper, Electronic Waste and Existing Processing Routes. In Australia, a common household generates um, 73 kilograms of e-waste per year, whereas an, um, an average employee generates 1.7 tonnes. Uh, at early stages, we estimate to collect e-waste from 1% of Sydney households and uh, work with one small to medium-sized company with 50 people. The annual revenue is approximately $0.3 million. As we develop, um, that is to collect e-waste from 10% of Sydney households and work with five small to medium-sized companies, um, the stream is estimated to generate $2.8 million per year. The third stream is from sales of um, shoes with soles made of um, recycled polymers, uh, which would be developed after the start of the project. Um, the early measure adapts the average market conditions from average cost to marginal profit. And um, with an estimation of 300 pairs sold every month, uh, as we progress, the average cost for each pair would decrease and sales would increase. We expect $1.8 million to be made um, for this stream. In conclusion, our project allows the factories to save the energy and the money to obtain processed materials. In the meantime, people get to know how to deal with their unwanted devices. Furthermore, since the government pays great attention to the harm done by the e-wastes, we have the opportunity to earn their support in the future. Our project has a great potential to make considerable profit in the market, and we would like to make it come true with your support.